Brad Casebeer here with Radiant Plumbing and Air Conditioning in Austin, Texas. We're doing a tool review today, and we're looking at the Rigid. It's model number 2017, and this thing is super interesting. I've been a plumber my whole life, like literally since I was 13, and uh, I've always used the Rigid Basin Wrench, and it's pretty kind of fun to see a new addition to it. They haven't, that thing hasn't changed in forever, and Rigid, in my opinion, has always made the best but now we've got a light on here and some other features that are pretty cool. We're gonna break them down and show them to you. So what's really interesting about this is it's you can actually pop the uh, handle off and you can use your socket uh, handles. So if you really need to torque something down, you could you could insert a socket wrench in there and get some serious leverage. And it looks like it, it's um, two screws and you've got access to the CR2032 batteries. They're super common, you can get those things anywhere. So that's pretty convenient as well. All right, so popping out of the package is our first look. Um, so first off, the thing that jumps out at you is this is really different. Um, on the standard one, it's just tied straight in there. But this thing, you've got some options here. It's not bad for, uh, you know, being compact in your bag. That's kind of cool. And then you can, you know, just get it back to its traditional position. Then you just pop it out. And again, you can insert your socket wrench in there. So that's kind of cool too. I can imagine that being a pretty handy thing in certain times. And then we got our traditional uh, telescoping. That all feels really great. This handle has a nice feel to it, good and grippy. I don't think it'd be too big to be clunky, um, you know, under a sink, maybe. But uh, since you can telescope out, you're back to the standard. This is just like the one you've always used. So I don't, I don't think this would be a problem for you. Let's try the light out. Let's see what goes on here. Yeah, the button's pretty hard to push, but that's not a bad thing in your tool bag because it's not going to just get... Yeah, I kind of think I like it really stiff. We do have two powers. Yeah. It comes bright and then dims and then off. Which, again, I, I, the battery, the, the button being stiff, I think, is an advantage because I don't think you can't... Yeah, it's just not turning on and that could be a thing in your tool bag. So, nothing worse than expecting a light and your batteries are dead. So, I think that's a... I think that's a plus. Let's jump under sink and try this thing out. See how it goes. Watch out for all the wires. It's a touchless faucet. Come on. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is this is not a not a problem. I really I was concerned that this would be bulky on you know getting up there. Okay, let's try it with the light. Ooh, that's pretty cool. All right, tighten it back up now. That's pretty tight. All right, so wires get in the way. There we go. Light off, dim. All right, so I, I like it. I think the light could really save your bacon. That could be super nice. Um, I wasn't wearing safety glasses, which I should have been. I've gotten more crap in my eyes using a basin wrench than I can care to remember. This is a little weird moving around on you. I'm totally used to, I, but I've got hundreds and hundreds of hours on a basin wrench. Uh, so having this thing not just be where I expect it uh, is a little awkward, but it's not bad. I, I would totally get used to it. Um, I think I'd recommend this tool. I think if I was buying one, I would get this one. I think I think the light would be super handy in certain cases, um, just to have that right there pointing at where you need it. So anyway, that's my review of the uh, Rigid 2017 Basin Wrench. I think you should go get one of these.